ever since I was young, because I was overweight, I, it was something like I just wanted to do. I always aspired to, you know, look like, like Lou Ferrigno and Arnold Schwarzenegger and, and these like big, you know, football players. And I was tired of being bullied and made fun of because I was fat and it just was depressing, you know? So ever since I was a kid, I wanted to change. And I started dieting as young as 10 years old. It started through sports like football because I was a bigger kid and everybody told me I was a bigger kid. So I thought, well, I just belong in football because big people play football. I mean, all the leagues were like two-hand touch or a flag and I couldn't, I couldn't do that, you know? And, and so finally my friend, uh, we were talking, we were about 11 at the time and he said, there's a tackled youth football league. And I said, oh, awesome. So I begged my dad, please, please, please let me play. And that's how I got into like, the training aspect, falling in love with the training aspect because, um, you know, to get better at football, you know, we'd run, we'd do push-ups, we'd do planks, we'd do all kinds of stuff. And that's where I really realized my work ethic because I was an underdog. But what really got me to start my own business was losing a job. And I thought, well, I've got to provide for my family. I have this passion. I have all this experience. Let's go for it. And that's what drove me to do it was losing that job. I've been doing this and living this and gaining experience for 15 plus years, but I haven't had true success since about maybe a year and a half to two years ago that I've really experienced true success for myself. And I've, and I've been working at it forever. So that's the first thing I tell my clients is a lot of people, especially when they meet me for the first time, they think I've always been like this. And <laughs> I'll pull up Facebook and say, no, 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 no. Let me show you a picture from just three years ago. And they're like shocked. They're like, you're a totally different person. I said, I know. Um, because I have a different perspective now and a different understanding. When he was working those other jobs, it was kind of like he always had his feet in two boats, is how I would tell him. And when he was laid off, there's no better time. This is the time to get your foot out of that other boat and to really go for it. And I don't think I realized at the time that it would come with so much meal prep and gym time and <laughs> away well, it's time. I'm, I'm competing now. It's different. I know. It's different than if you were just a trainer because yeah. you're a com competitive bodybuilder. It's yeah, a different yeah, story. it's different. But I don't know. I always thought before one of the things I didn't want to have him doing was because he has to eat his certain way and our family still eats our certain way. And I didn't want it to be that sort of example for our kids that, well, I don't want to eat this either. Dad's got his food. I want my food. And so, but actually it's been so good. Our kids eat, because he's eating so much healthier, they want to eat like him. And so I have tiny toddlers who beg for broccoli and want raw asparagus and raw green beans and want chicken and broccoli for every meal. And so it's been really good for the kids. Really the only things I get to flavor my food right now, I can do some seasoning salts, um, but mustard and hot sauce. That's it. Because I don't get A1 no sauce, sugar, there's no, no sugar, calories. no calories, it's just, so. There was one time in the very beginning, this was before we had kids, in the very beginning, he said, hey Jen, can you make this chicken up for me? And I thought, sure. Oh, so I put gosh. it in the pan and I'm seasoning it and right as I'm shaking it on, he walks into the kitchen and loses it. Oh my gosh, what did you do to my chicken? Oh my gosh, oh Jen, no, no. And I'm like, Oh my gosh, I just wanted to make it like taste good. No, I can't have that, I can't. And I'm like, but there's no salt in it. It's salt free, Mrs. Dash, why can't you have it? And he was like, ah, ah, I'll talk to my trainer. And he talked to his trainer and Anna was like, yeah, you can have Mrs. Dash. But he had such a freak out that I was like, man, you can do it yourself. Meal prep is simply just preparing your food to stay on track to reach your goal. That's meal prep. Yeah, it's, it's really truly important. Uh, from my experience doing Micah's plans, if I don't have the meals prepared, I'm not gonna eat them. If I have to go in the kitchen and prepare it as it's time for me to do it, I'm not gonna do it. But if I have it set out and ready, then I'll, I'll stay focused with my goal. Um, if you're not prepared, if you don't have everything set aside for you or you don't have your options ready, you might still get results, but they won't be as good, they won't be as permanent, they won't be as, as, as what you expect them to Well, you be. tell your clients that abs are made in the kitchen. I mean, yeah, and now everyone says, Michael, what's the best exercise for abs? And I saw this online, but I always tell them, I say, pick up the cookie, put it down and walk away. That's the best exercise for abs. 
What I would tell people who want to get in shape, especially those who feel like they've tried everything, because I know how that feels, I've tried everything and you don't get results, don't quit. Like, yeah, you, you've had all these bad experiences, but don't stop. Keep searching, keep looking, keep trying, reach out to a professional. I have people all the time on social media or they'll get my number and they'll text me or call me or they'll message me and they'll ask me for advice. I answer questions all the time just to help. Like, don't quit, reach out, look for those answers. You know, that's, it, it's part of what, what I do and what many others do. But I, the number one thing would be don't quit. You've gotta think of it as an investment. I tell everyone that I, that I work with, you know, you have investment brokers who say they want their mo your money to work for you, right? I say, I want your body and your food to work for you. That's what I'm teaching you. That's what you're investing in. You're investing in something much greater than just a, 12 week muscle building program. You're investing in the quality of your life. $2.3 billion are spent on treating diseases that can be reversible um, and ultimately prevented through diet and exercise. That's huge. $2.3 billion that we spend on stuff that can be coronary heart disease, type two diabetes, you know, just all these different things that can be prevented. So that's my goal. I wanna, I wanna change the world that way. And I want more people to come in and say, my doctor took me off my medication. That's awesome. That's so cool. It's what I think about because, well, it, you look at studies. I'm right now. I could be.